Well, it truly was a potpourri of calls this week, folks. Up first, though, the judge ruling against the teachers' union and in favor of Cincinnati Public Schools going back to the classroom. I'm happy the uh, Ohio judge ruled for the kids to go back in school. They need to open. I feel like it's almost child abuse to not be educating in person. If the teachers have a legitimate argument, they should all be vaccinated before returning to school. I'm not for the union or anything, but I do think that the teachers have a right to be vaccinated against the COVID before they return to the classroom. I work for Cincinnati Public. I am a teacher, and I think that all the teachers need to have their two series of shots before they report back to the school. I think this is really, really disgraceful that they're making the teachers go back. The addition of eSports to Newport School's athletic department, which would set up a league of students playing competitive video games, drew in a couple of calls. I want to sound off on these kids playing these dang um, videos. I don't think this is right. I think they should be using books and pencils instead of all these computer stuff. I think it's great because kids love video games video games, and my son is one of them, and if they could make a college and for them to go on a scholarship that way, that would be terrific. Gary Rigdon from Adams County didn't like the fact so many people filed complaints against area restaurants, claiming they weren't following COVID safety guidelines. I think these restaurants are struggling enough without having these nosy Busybody people calling the health department in trying to get them to shut down. It's a shame that uh, they don't have anything better to do, the old nosy busybody. Then there was this caller. Yeah, Craig, this is Mike from Springfield Township. You know, I've called you dozens of times, never once my opinion made it. But that lady who talks like this, you put her on all the time. That's a complaint. Oh, Mike, you mean this caller who doesn't really care too much about Puxatani Phil's prediction? Whether or not that stupid groundhog sees a shadow, we will have six weeks of winter no matter what. Hey, Mike, just having a little fun. Please finish your call and concerns regarding vaccine distribution. We've determined that we have um, essential workers like grocery store people and food deliverers, but those people aren't even in the conversation for the vaccine. So how in the hell are they essential people, but they're not worthy of vaccine? I think everybody that works at Kroger should be up for the teachers and everybody else. But, hey, that's me because I'm a normal thing kind of guy. Again, thank you for all the calls this week. And while I cannot air them all, I certainly appreciate you taking the time to call with your concerns, especially you, Mike. Thank you. If you ever have an opinion, though, call the Feedback Friday hotline at 513-852-4998.